difficult work for Murfreesboro detectives. Four women reported missing in less than four weeks. Two wound up dead and one teenager still hasn't been found. News Channel 5's Junk World Newland went looking for answers as to whether these cases are connected. We wanted to look at four cases since mid-February. Two deaths, an assault, and one missing teen. All of the victims are women, but that's where the similarities stop. In fact, officers say each of these cases are very different. Beginning on February 17th, Murfreesboro Police announced an investigation into the killing of 23-year-old Blair Yvonne Alexander. She's not a random crime victim. There is a connection between her and her killer. Just more than a week later, another female body was found. 65-year-old Carol Brandon was reported missing the day before. That one, the, no foul play has shown in the investigation. Then on the 4th of this month, a woman walked into this convenience store asking for help, saying she'd been beaten and assaulted. Initially that night, she made comments that would lead one to think that she was being trafficked. Officers later learned she was with her alleged assaulter consensually. The most recent case involves a missing 17 year old Molly Spies, which has prompted online comments, stories and conspiracies of human trafficking, which link all of these cases together. That can detract resources away from working the actual case. It, it can sometimes generate false leads, which causes our detectives to chase down dead end leads. While these cases are not in any way connected to human trafficking, Norville says it does happen and she encourages women everywhere to be alert and on the lookout. But when it comes to sharing or posting stories, knowledge is power. If you don't know for a fact that it's true, don't share it. Officers put out information on the missing 17 year old because in fact she suffers from a heart condition and they're worried about her health. If you have any information that can help, contact Murfreesboro Police. In Murfreesboro, I'm Jonquil Newland, News Channel 5.